हेलो एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ सी सी टी वी डेस्क वी कम अप विद न्यू वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऐप ऐप नेम इज एक्स एम ई वाई प्रो बेसिकली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू दैट वॉट इज एक्स एम ई वाई प्रो ऐप वॉट आर इट फीचर एंड फंक्शन एंड आफ्टर दैट विल टेल यू दैट हाउ यू डाउनलोड ऑन योर मोबाइल फोन हाउ यू इंस्टॉल ऑन योर मोबाइल फोन एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल टेल मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप that how you configure the app to make the camera live and able to access all its feature so keep watching till end please like share our video and subscribe to our channel so basically xmey pro is a app which is used to connect as well as control the cctv camera on your mobile phone and sometime it is also used to monitor the cameras on remote locations over the internet by using this app you are able to see the live view of the camera not only the live view but you see all the features like you see multiple channel at a time you watch the recording of the camera you see live record of the video uh, you take the snapshot of the video you control the ptz camera and you save the or you record the live view of the camera you can adjust the image parameter like brightness color etc and many more now for downloading on your mobile phone or installing you should open play store and search for xmey pro okay and just click installed when you click on installed first it is start downloading once the downloading is finished then it start installing and after that you should find the option open so let the downloading and the installation process to be finish now to start installing again it will take a few few second once it is once it is installed you should find option open now to start checking your app that whether it is safe or not now it is fine if, if it's find safe then you should find the option open like this just click on open and click on agree so basically this is the interface of the app and here you should find the option sign up so i don't waste time for sign up you should do by your own if you want to use the app again and again so i make video just for educational and training purpose means so i will explain only those option which is necessary and important so for this you should find on the bottom of the list you find the option like local just click on the local and click agree it will redirect to your page it will redirect after login okay so here you should find the option two option starting from the top left option you should find the scanner code option just click on this and again click on this this is a qr code scanner so basically if you are in front of the device you scan qr code from here so another question arises where you get that qr code for that you should log in your device device means dvr and vr ip cam whatever you are using after login just go to the opt network and try to opt in for option cloud id over there you should you should find the option uh you qr code just scan that qr code and so if you, if if someone send you that qr code you should also access the mobile storage like this okay now now the now there is a plus of icon on the top right corner just click on this and here you should find the option like nvr wired camera wifi based station wifi camera so in this way you can add the different type of devices so in my case i want to add nvr just click on this so when you click on this you find the two option a serial number and ip so if you have a static ip you want to connect by local ip address then you should enter here here you should enter device name here you should enter device ip address and here is your password 
and please not be confused here uh, here it, it is a password of the device device means the device you are adding and now just go the serial number because I will tell you that how you add by using using a serial number for that you should put anything here like test device okay you should put any name which you easily remember now it asks for a serial number okay so serial number is the number which again you find after logging your device and go to the network option and go to the cloud option serial number here i i should enter my serial number Please note that again it is a username and password of the device don't be confused here again device means dvr nvr wi-fi cam whatever you are adding in my case i'm using nvr so just i go for the use i just use it username and password of the device click ok now you should find that your device comes online just single click on the cam you see all the cam comes online just double click any cam your camera comes live okay just double click any cam to see the live full view of the cam now just i will tell you each and every option one by one so first option the starting from the right side just beside the camera screen you find the option setting so basically setting is used to change the channel name to advance to change the date time all the thing that you should change by logging the device so you should do from, from here also now if you want to take a snapshot just click on the snapshot in this way you, you take a snapshot again if you want to record the live view of the screen just click on the record when you do this you, you see that it start recording uh, a red color ball is marking and the timer starts and when you want to stop just click on the stop and if your camera is audio enabled then then click on this audio okay so in this way you if your camera is audio enabled you want to hear the voice in this way you see you hear the voice of the camera and if your device is two-way communicated means then you can do by this if you click on the this talk option and if device is two-way communication you can do by this option just hold the button so here you should find the option one channel four channel in this way you can change the live view of the camera like this okay and if you click on the hd sd your camera become li little blur and but it's more fluent and it take less bandwidth when you click on hd your camera become more clearer and you take l l more bandwidth and if you want to check the local record of the device means the recording store on the hard drive then you should click on the playback I don't have uh, hard drive so it, it won't show me recording but I will tell you show you the, how, the method of doing so you can change you can take the date time from date here you can select the time from here and just click play button in this way you can check the record so if you want to have a PTZ camera and you want to change you want to check it here is the PTZ functions okay so in this way you can change check the PTZ functions that's all for this video thanks for watching thank you have a nice day